Hello, everybody. What are the precepts of the Church? The precepts of the Church are the minimum requirements for living an authentic Catholic life. Now, the Catechism of the Catholic Church lists five precepts. See Numbers 2041 to 2043. I would like to comment on each one. You shall attend Mass on Sundays and Holy Days of Obligation and rest from servile labour. One day a week, it's the least we could do for a God who has given us so much. By servile labour, the Church means any work or business that would inhibit the worship to be given to God. The joy proper to the Lord's Day or the due relaxation of mind and body. And that's mentioned in the Code of Canon Law number 1247. In other words, try to mow the lawn, do the laundry, do your homework, etc. on Friday or Saturday instead of on Sunday. You shall confess your sins at least once a year. Mortal sins must be forgiven through the sacrament of confession and this must be done before one can receive the Eucharist. Of course, we are encouraged to confess our venial sins as well and to go to confession much more regularly than once a year. Pastors and spiritual directors usually advise going to confession at least once a month, but you can go more often if necessary. You shall receive the sacrament of the Eucharist at least during the Easter season. There is no better time to receive the Eucharist than during the season in which we commemorate Jesus' offering of himself to the Father and to us for our salvation. Of course, we are encouraged to receive the Eucharist any time that we are properly disposed to receive it, meaning we have no mortal sin on our souls and we have observed the one-hour fast before communion and we believe that what we are receiving is truly Christ himself. You shall observe the days of fasting and abstinence established by the Church. All Fridays of the year are days of abstinence, that is, we abstain from meat. On Ash Wednesday and Good Friday, moreover, Catholics aged between 18 and 59 inclusive are bound to fast, which means, at least, having one full meal during that day and two smaller meals with no snacking in between. You shall help to provide for the needs of the Church. Now this is important so that the Church has available to it those things which are necessary for divine worship, for apostolic and charitable work and for the worthy support of its ministers. Simple and clear. Thank you all very much for listening and God bless you all. Oh, oh.